Henrik Christensen is on his way to work. He's the managing director of APM Terminal's Kiao in the largest port on the west coast of South America. He came to Peru three years ago together with APM Terminals, winning the port concession for the next 30 years. We were in very difficult times because this was a port privatization and many people did not really like in the beginning the privatization. I had a, a pleasure of a visit from a senior executive. His advice was, remember, it's not only about taking over the port, it's also about establishing our name in the community because we're going to be here for many, many years. When is the next milestone? This is a 40 foot and you have 20 and 40. Look, you have basically 100 days and it's within the first 100 days that you have to climb the ranks of the social ladder also, at the same time as you have to prove together with the team what we can do out here in the port. The strategy was to reach out and involve the community, both inside and outside the gates. In other words, to cooperate and to collaborate. Where are we? What are the customs here? Listen to the local people. One of the things that most me llamó the attention was that in the first weeks of the concession, APM invitó a las familias de los trabajadores a visitar el puerto porque nunca las esposas de los trabajadores habían estado en el lugar donde sus maridos trabajaban. Y solamente ese detalle hizo que un elemento de integración familiar ayudara tremendamente al trabajo de estos operarios. We are a people business. You know, APM terminals is not only cranes like we see here or machines or big ships. There are people sitting in all of them. And today on this port, for instance, here we have 1,500 people working in the port. We have three to 4,000 people coming in and out of the port. So if we shouldn't be reaching out to be part of the community and also take a responsibility in the community, then, then we will not become successful. And that also meant reaching out to Puerto Nuevo, the poor neighborhood surrounding the port of Kiao, where public worker Eugenio Cordova has worked for many years. En realidad es peligroso de día y de noche, ¿no? Eh, porque hay mucha desocupación. Entonces, esto hace delinquir a las personas. Many of the workers in the port live in the neighborhood, so APM Terminals has sponsored a number of health, education, and nutrition projects there in an effort to involve the surrounding community with the port. This collaborative approach defined the way APM Terminals engaged with many stakeholders in Peru. We mapped out first all the stakeholders and found out who is important to us. We invited the police, we invited the Navy, we invited the fishermen, we visited the local bishop. Inside the gates of the biggest of APM terminals, eight multi-purpose ports, a huge effort was also put into engaging the people working there. We went out to ask all the employees and got an engagement with them and asked them, uh, help us with ideas of how we can improve. And they did come up with 800 ideas in one week. And what this generated to us last year was uh, an improvement in the segment result of $3.5 million. In the very early days, made a made a union agreement, a collective agreement with the stevedores. We established uh, an agreement in 20 days that, that nobody had been able to do in 20 years. But the most important thing is, I think for me, this changed the culture of how we talked with the people when we met them in the yard. Pasan más de 100 días por sin accidentes, pero por el tres años, ustedes también cambiar, por, también con stevedores y clientes y hortos, cambiar esta actitud uh, por un puerto más seguro. En un año de internet libre, totalmente libre. Porque afuera nos esperan nuestras familias, nos esperan nuestros hijos, de todos nosotros. Por eso aprecio mucho que la empresa esté dando ganas a este, a este, a este asunto de poner seguridad. Y nosotros ahora, que hemos vivido todo el puerto, Tanto tiempo en el puerto, vemos con gran satisfacción que la seguridad es una realidad. Gracias.
In Puerto Nuevo, crime was a persistent problem for the citizens. To improve security and develop trust between police and people, APM Terminals sponsored a number of police outposts. Pero debido a estos PRI que hemos llegado, este, hemos tenido acceso a las personas y que ellos puedan este, brindarnos un poco de confianza. The community is nowadays significantly safer, Eugenio tells us, but unemployment is still high. Bueno, la situación, lo más importante aquí en Puerto Nuevo para los jóvenes, primeramente es, es este, crear puestos de trabajo, puestos de trabajo porque hay muchos jóvenes aquí que falta trabajo, ¿no? Eugenio Córdoba is, however, optimistic. Bueno, yo estoy francamente contento porque siempre ha habido una respuesta positiva de APM Terminal en ayuda de los vecinos. Porque de, hubo un pacto de paz social entre APM Terminal, los pescadores artesanales y el sector de Puerto Nuevo, el cual ha traído beneficios, pero yo creo que con el tiempo y con, y con en la convivencia vamos a lograr mejoras tanto para Puerto Nuevo como también para el desarrollo de las instalaciones del de APM Terminals. The port of Quiao is not only of importance to the capital of Lima, but of great importance to the economy of Peru. Around 80% of the Peruvian trade goes through this port. When APM Terminals arrived, they took over a state-driven, inefficient, rundown port. Bueno, el primer impacto se produjo desde el momento en que se hizo la concesión, porque el factor de competencia en la concesión deliberadamente fue menores tarifas. El segundo impacto fue que apenas entraron eh, los eh, funcionarios de APM, lograron articular un proceso de gestión y de administración del puerto propiamente más eficiente. Efficiency, contrary to the popular belief, is not cheaper. Efficiency has never been cheaper. It's more expensive. But the difference is in the opportunities. It gives you more opportunities of doing business. Truckers, for example. Uh, 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 in the past, a truck had only one entry to the Puerto Callao. He waited in and out with one move a day. Now we can do four, six moves a day. It'll cost the in and out, but Jesus, you multiply your business. What we are building for here is the largest container vessels that, that exist today in the trade, and we will be able to operate them in a few months here at, on the terminal of APM terminals in, in Callao. El puerto es el corazón a partir del cual podemos generar comercio exterior competitivo. Es nuestra ventana, y durante muchísimo tiempo la tuvimos un poco oxidadita y un poco cerrada. Our ambition here is to invest a minimum of $750 million in the port and transforming the port into a, a more modern port of world-class standards. And the important part for Peru is that we will, we will help grow the trade. So through collaboration, cooperation, and sensibility, APM Terminals managed to enter Peru in a way benefiting both the community and the business. It was very important for us the first 100 days to make sure we had it under control and we could demonstrate that, uh, that we can actually run this multi-purpose port. We made it and uh, that felt good for all the people and it gave us the energy to continue. Uh, so uh, we continue to live out this for, for, for the next many years. Right?